Well, tonight, 13 Investigates unveils a new way to connect with our local Las Vegas community. We're calling it Darcy. What's the deal? That's right. You've got questions and we want to help you get the answers. No matter how big or small the concern, Darcy and her team will work to get you the perspective you need to make a difference, not only for you, but for all Las Vegas locals. And investigator Darcy Spears joins us in the studio now to explain how it works. Joe and Trisha, as part of our commitment here at Channel 13 to fight for what's right for Las Vegas locals, when you ask, Darcy, what's the deal? I'll find an explanation and help to ensure accountability. Tonight, as we kick off our new coverage with this first story, I'm asking, what's the deal with delays, disconnections, and staffing shortages at the Nevada DMV? Now serving A. The DMV has long been the agency we all love to hate, notorious for long wait times, slow processing, and frustrated customers. Counter number 22. So when I recently had some business processing a car title, I decided to put the agency to the test to see if anything had changed since we spoke to Sherilyn Branton in February when she told us she had to wait weeks to get her handicap placard replaced after it was stolen. It's been very frustrating. I mean, a couple of times I wanted to just throw my hands up and say, you know what, I'll just stay home and never go anywhere again. Nine months later, I discovered little has changed. My journey started with trying to get someone on the phone to answer a title question. It's really, it's a tough situation there. Public Information Officer Eli Roll says the DMV currently has 130 vacant positions and about 90 of those are services technicians. Those are the people who process titles, registrations, license renewals, and answer phones. Thank you for calling the Nevada Department of Motor Vehicles. I myself recently put the phone queue to the test and it's not even necessarily a sitting on hold thing. We are currently handling a high volume of calls and are unable to answer your call at this time. Your call is not going to be taken. You don't even have the option of staying on hold. Try your call again later. We apologize for any inconvenience. So the phone system has a capacity of 35 people waiting in the queue. And so if you were not one of the 35 people in that queue, the recording comes back and tells you, hey, please call again later, and it disconnects you. Despite a budget for 14 positions, the DMV currently only has six to eight people answering phones on any given day. Everyone in the state of Nevada, when you call the DMV, you go to one of those eight people in Carson City. That's that eight 35 people person for the you. entire yeah. state. Right. I, it's, again, it's budgeted for more, but it hasn't been fully staffed since I've been here. And that's been and that's months. for any topic. Correct. My next step was to make an appointment to get my title paperwork processed. No one would be surprised to hear that appointments are about two months out right now. That's exactly how long it took me to get an appointment here at the office on West Flamingo. Once I checked in, I got this text with a link to click to view my place in line. But when I clicked it, it took me here. A warning that popped up saying this website may be impersonating the DMV site to steal your personal or financial information. You should close this page. I reported it and the DMV's IT department investigated, learning a server update inadvertently pointed traffic back to an old URL the DMV no longer uses. That, at least, was a quick fix. As for getting my title, Roll says the backlog for that is so severe it's taken over an entire room in Carson City. The wait time? 10 to 12 weeks. Yeah, we have... Um, approximately 60,000 titles waiting at any one given time. So when you mail in your title documents, there's only 60,000 people ahead of you. We process them by date and we have as many people as we can working on them. We pull staff from other departments to try and get through the backlog, but for as many as we crank through in a day, uh, <laughs> it never stops. The DMV's online reform effort has had hits and misses over the years, plagued by outages and other glitches. Still, the agency is working toward an eventual transformation with a target date sometime in 2025. Part of that includes building a phone contact center and another update of their online platform. Basically, the big DMV system that runs everything, it was invented before iPhone. Like, it has no concept of Upload PDF, what's a PDF? 
It's ridiculous. The update will also ultimately allow customers to chat with a live agent online. For now, it's just a bot able to handle a few prescribed questions and answers. They call it an Einstein bot, and so it will... Is you know, it that uh, smart, really, though? It's not right now, no. Right now, we have to spoon feed the bot every answer, and when it gets stumped, uh, we need to know about that. As for the offices, the agency is hiring new employees. Roll says the challenge is keeping them. Right now, our issue isn't hiring. It's uh, it is actually retention. And it's because you can come to the DMV, get a lot of broadly applicable experience. And then once you're in with the state, you can move to other departments, other departments that offer better pay. And you're not going to find a state employee that is going to argue with getting you know, more money. The 2023 legislature approved significant pay raises for all state agencies. Despite that, some have even higher vacancy rates than the DMV. We just tend to feel the impacts more because of how connected we are to the whole customer experience. If you are willing to gamble with your time, you can roll the dice on walk-in Wednesdays at any of the Las Vegas or Henderson offices, and you can walk in without an appointment on any Wednesday if you're willing to wait as long as it takes. So, Darcy, I know we're looking for this new segment to be entirely driven by our viewers. So. How would somebody reach out to you if they have a question for Darcy? What's the deal? We're trying to make it very simple. We've created a new page on our website with a simple online form. Just go to ktnv.com slash what's the deal. Fill it out, click submit, and it comes directly to me. You guys, I'm really excited to launch this new way for 13 Investigates to be there fighting for you, our viewers, and fighting for what's right. You Absolutely. Check your social media often too. So, I mean, you can also reach out that way, right? You can find me on Facebook, you can find me on X, and of course, on our website with that form. Really looking forward to hearing our viewers wonder, what's the deal? I like it. I like the name too, and I think a lot of people are definitely going to be reaching out to you, Darcy. Thank you so much. We look forward to your segments. All right, Darcy, thanks so much.